Hello, this is Joyce and Otis Spring Chick Chow. We're here at the Orange County Auto Show. Now, one of the things that I know that a lot of car aficionados love to see are the sports cars. Now, here, right here, this is at the Orange County Auto Show. This is a spiker. Now, here's one of the things that's kind of surprising. I know, I look like I even was trying to coordinate with a spiker. I'm really, really surprised about this. Now, not when you get a car like this, are you ever really concerned about gas mileage, right? But it says it's 13 city miles for the gallon or 18 highway miles to the gallon. Can you believe that? No. I know there's some of you that has SUVs that don't even get that kind of gas mileage. Or do they look like this? I mean, this is, a, this is sweet. A spiker. Yes. Oh. So anyway, we've got some other cars that we're going to look at over here. Now, besides the spiker, I don't know about you, but if you've been paying any attention to Lotus and what they have, they have some pretty amazing sports cars. Now this one actually looks a little bit longer than I'm used to seeing some of the Lotuses, okay? In fact, I'll give you some idea of perspective. Lotus, are you ready for this? The Lotus's price point is substantially less than a Ferrari or a Maserati. Okay, it does not have that F word or that M word or a racing horse on it. Something like that is awfully, awfully sweet. You may even want to take a look at this. Here's another Lotus too. I swear, you know, it's I I really didn't dress to match the cars. Now this one, believe it or not, this gets better gas mileage than a lot of SUVs. I know. Why would I be comparing that? Because why? Because the gas price of gas is so freaking high. This one, believe it or not, 20 miles to the gallon. <laughs> I know. 20 miles to the gallon city. 28 miles to the gallon highway. Now part of it is when you're buying a sports car like that, are you really paying that much attention to the gas mileage? But sometimes it might just surprise you. Because I've heard, you know, there's many people that have big cars with V8s and things like that where, you know, it costs them, what, a gallon of gas just to practically get out of the driveway. This one here is a Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce in Newport Beach, California. Now, I don't know about you, but Orange County, I remember in the early days we used to talk about this disposable spending amount for Orange County. Ferrari, you know, I like the Ferrari or Maserati. I remember listening to them. They were saying that 10% of the worldwide production was sold in Orange County. I'm like, 10% of the worldwide? Did I hear that? 10% of the worldwide production. So this Rolls Royce, beautiful, elegant. I mean, can you go wrong with the Rolls Royce? They're just very, very stately. No, I just love this. Oh, you want to see the tails? You want to see the rears of these cars while we're at it? Because one thing that's really nice about these luxury automobiles, you want to look quite as good coming as you do going. So, of course, I mean, look at the lines. Okay, forget the gas mileage. Look at the lines of these automobiles. Okay. Are, are these just so totally, utterly fabulous? I mean, look at these exhausts. You know, there's something about a sports car, you know, when they, on some of these, um, like Tesla's an absolute beautiful car. But, you know, sometimes you just want to hear the engine and the roar and you want people to know you're coming. Or sometimes you don't want them to know you're coming. Is that the case? Now, this biker right here, I just love because look at this. This biker symbol. It's like you want to roll it up like the helicopter and make it run. Now, on the way over here, what do we, oh, we've got Lamborghini right here. Lamborghini Newport Beach. 